All right, so we made it down to Flamingo. We snuck away from the kids and we're gonna be out here for about a week, island hopping, doing some camping and fishing every day. Hopefully we'll get enough fish for our dinners at night. That's a snook. Still no. That's big. It's the biggest one yet. And it's still no keeper. <laughs> Good job. That one's big. Close. Huh? Nowhere near close enough. But fine fish. Well, that's my fourth one, and none of them have been keepers. I haven't caught anything. <laughs> fish and we're having sashimi it's a big trout mm -hmm. and you got the biggest fish Ooh, 19. two trout for dinner We are at our destination for night one of camping. We had a good day of fishing, caught, I outfished clay. I'm gonna have to teach, I'm gonna have to teach him how to fish tomorrow. You what? I'm okay with that. <laughs> but he did catch the biggest fish though today. So um, we ended up keeping, getting a couple of keepers that we're gonna cook for dinner tonight. And then, we arrived at our destination. We got ready to set the tent up. And that's our tent, supposedly. Clay decided it was a good idea not to bring our tent, just to bring a tarp and a little bug net in the Everglades where it's very buggy. So we've we had to. A, we, have, we've, we have shelter and we have a bug net. Mm -hmm. But we had to figure out how to rig this thing up. And I predict that the bug net is just going to blow and flap on us all night and we're not going to get any sleep or one of us is going to fall into the water trying to get out of this thing in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. I predict we're going to sleep very good and get up at first light and go and catch a bunch of fish. That's my prediction. I don't know where your So I told him that if I get a good night's sleep and I don't get ate up by bugs, I won't be mad at him in the morning. But if I do, if one of those things happen, I'm not going to be very happy. But for now, I'm going to shut up. But she'll get over it. For now, I'm going to shut up and I'm going to drink my wine, which is going to make me happier about the situation. And, and he just informed me that we don't have enough gas to run around. And what did I ask before we come out here when we had another seven gallons of, I don't know, how, many, how much gas did they have? Well, our neighbors got about a hundred gallons <laughs> over here. Before we left, I said, do we have plenty of gas? Yeah, we're fine. I said, our seven extra gallons in the truck, I said, do we need to take this? No, we're good. We have, we will have enough. Thanks. Stay in the local area, not to go running all over the place. Well, all of our fishing spots are right here, locally.
So after fishing for the entire day and not getting one bite, we decided to leave the backcountry and head on back over to Florida Bay for the rest of our trip. So we got out here really early this morning. We forgot about time change. We thought something might have been going on that we didn't know about. Nobody at the boat launch. Yeah, we were the only person. And we got out here and we kept running and running and it was not getting daylight. And I should have knew this because I should have known this because time change usually falls on my birthday weekend and yesterday was my birthday. So. Nice red. That's, that's a good fish. <laughs> good deal. Check 18 to 27. I'm pretty sure he's legal. I think I've ever caught one of those before. Time for everything. Let's see. They said something about having to climb up there, so they give that as a warning on the description. Yeah, that's going to be interesting getting the coolers and stuff up there. Last time they had a deck on this thing. Yeah, they did. All right, home away from home for the next two nights. We were just noticing that there is no deck anymore, so uh, last time we were here, there was one. Mr. Muscles here is going to have to uh, somehow figure out how to get this ice chest up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're going to make uh, ceviche for lunch and then the red fish is going to be for dinner. So I'm going to fillet this fish. Liz is going to get started on lunch and then we're going to get camp set up. But it turned out to be a really nice day. I thought it was going to be windy and rough out here, but uh, we got out super early and earlier than we thought. Earlier, earlier than we thought. Um, it was really nice this morning flat glassy water and then the wind never picked up so it's it's remained i mean it's just rippled so we'll hang out here for a little bit and then i think this evening we'll fish the back side of these uh little islands here see if we can't get some snook to come out and play with us
All right, so we've got the bug net, the full nest out of the Cimarron. I think we're just, just gonna go with the bug net. Uh, I don't think we need the outside. Um, but this thing is made to go inside of the tent, which is made to be staked to the ground. <clears throat> so I'm gonna have to figure out how to make it work on a deck. I think we can figure it out. Better be good, it's windy up here. It is windy. Perfect. Huh? Works perfect. Looks like it was made to go there. Home sweet home. Mm, I'm hungry. Head head. It's like 2 o'clock, 2.30 probably. Haven't had anything to eat today. Whole oh, pot there too, made a bunch. What do you got on there? Think. Probably a shark. You break it. What are we having? Having curry. I'm uh, simmering these bones from my trout earlier and then I'm going to cook the rice and the broth and then we are going to use the redfish and make a uh, curry tonight. little show this morning. <gasps> Did he get off? Or broke you off? It's a record trout. trout. A little bit too small. Turn the aerator on. 
He's really been wanting to get his fly pole out and do some fly fishing and this evening the weather was perfect so I headed up to the polling platform and po polled the rest of the afternoon so he could take a chance at fly fishing. camera to take a picture. That was a nice fish, but it was not keeper size. Schnook has to be, what, 28 inches? 28. 28 inches to keep one. But Clay caught it on his fly rod, so he's happy. Break again? Well, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. I broke off the big fish, but got lots of bites. Big storm front coming through. I think that's got them turned on. I hate to leave, but I can't even see where, my, where I'm casting anymore. cold front come in last night we got a north wind it's really cooled off I'm not sure how that's gonna affect the fish but last night and yesterday it was really good but it's 
just after low tide the plan right now is to pull up the the lee side of this little peninsula here and then as the tide comes up just work out into the flats and hopefully we're gonna be looking for it looks like a stingray right there looking for stingrays and a lot of time the snook and redfish will get on those stingrays and just kind of hang out beside them because the stingrays will um forage around in the mud and they scare out little bait fish and shrimp and stuff and so those bigger fish hang out um, and the stingrays like to come up on these flats as the tide's coming up so I'm gonna give it a shot and see what happens get those back on the pole this morning I don't know it's pretty if you're gonna be able to pull up that bank with the wind <laughs> Pretty dang small to be. up in the, this hook over here. Oh well. So after fighting the wind most of the day over on Florida Bay, we decided to head on back over to the back country and give it one more try to find those fish. Mama lost her hat. out it's pretty intense
and we're out of here. That was a long, cold ride in. Here, take that. Let me get the front. Right on the edge of the mangroves. I, every time I come by one of these things, I look out through there and think about how much of a nightmare it would be to try to have to try to walk through that stuff, to try to navigate that stuff on foot. My dry clothes are gonna be wet now. I won't be able to be warm. Any good whatsoever. Our rain jackets are in the truck. So these are fish that we caught over in Florida Bay yesterday. <laughs> All right, dinner for tomorrow night. With snapper. We have fish that we caught yes oops. We have fish that we caught yesterday for dinner tonight. We caught three big um, speckled trout dang. <laughs> I'm forgetting one. Um, so we got three big speckled trout here. We're gonna have those tonight along with some vegetables and then some eggs that were in the trout today. So we're just cooking up some potatoes and vegetables here, and then we're gonna eat the fish from last night. Probably he's getting the beer. One of my beers, actually, but he's getting it. Um, I love to cook, and Clay likes to eat good. We both like to eat good, but Clay really likes to eat good, so when we come out on these trips, we still bring all of our groceries that we need to cook a good meal. So we have potatoes, vegetables, and fresh fish tonight. And then for the fish, I just picked up some Everglades fish and chicken seasoning. I'm just going to sprinkle that on top and then just like pan fry them along with the eggs and the backbone. And then our meal's complete. We did have some chocolate that was left over for my birthday um, in the ice chest, but we ate that before we got started. So no chocolate tonight. We had that for lunch. That was our lunch. <laughs> watery chocolate that had been in the bottom of the ice chest mixed with I don't know but we ate it <laughs> it needed a little liquid so thank you we haven't ate we didn't eat hardly anything yesterday and so we haven't had a good dinner since the night before and I'm kind of got grumpy today so Give that look again now that I can see you. <laughs> I'm fishing right now. We're back at camp. I did. It's been we've been out on the water for like six days now, from like sun up to after sundown, and then getting back to camp, cooking dinner, with the headlamp on, going to bed, doing it again. And so I was tired, and I requested to come back to camp early today. but it's just one night he can deal. That's some big old plays. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, make white. we're out here last day it was sucky all day yesterday it was cold and windy and then the raining on us some and then I was freezing all night while I was trying to sleep um, it's cold this morning clay is set that he's gonna figure out the fishing on this side uh, we'll see I'm gonna say I have faith in him 
that he's gonna find the fish for us. Today's the last day here. We have fished all day long. Got up, was out here when the sun came up. Sun's getting ready to go down now. Guess how many fish we've got? Zero! <laughs> We've got zero bites, nothing. So, I've been, I've stayed hooked up into the trees a lot today because of the wind. Poor Clay has got a massive knot in his line right now from the wind. So, uh, it's been a great day. I'm thinking at this point, we should just watch the sun go down and go and sit on the dock and drink wine because uh, it's been a very, very unproductive day. We've been seeing some tarpon jump out here. Not anything close to us. We saw a sea turtle and a dolphin, and that's it for the day. Oh, and we saw a crocodile. And that's it for the day. It's been a very quiet last day. Almost to the point that I kind of wanted to leave this morning to go home because it's kind of work when you're not catching fish. It kind of feels like a job. But we're still here. And we'll see what happens when the sun starts going down. What? Give any update? Yeah, today sucked. Sucked. Oh, we did see a big manatee too. We've been seeing manatees the whole time, but this one was like massive. So, the biggest manatee I've ever seen. We did see that too. We have, we have a stowaway. Right here. I'll let you and my wires up. A stowaway rat we're taking back with us. We'll make sure we feed them when we get home. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for Clay and I on this trip. We had a good 10 days out here of just camping and fishing, which is right up our alley. Lots of good quality time spent together. We both really, really enjoyed it, but we do have to head back to civilization. So that's where we're headed. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that little bell icon so you're notified when the next video comes out. And we will see you on the next adventure.